well, at least Christmas isn't ruined. Um, I was thinking, come whatever I thought, oh, I'm, I'm staying in my bedroom all Christmas, can't be bothered to come out. But um, no, I mean, 1-1, one, one, frustrated. I'd say, I'd say I'm frustrated that we didn't do enough to get the win. Um, absolutely battered them with the ball, 78% possession. There was just that spark lacking today. I felt we just missed that final, final bit, that little bit of quality to to turn the game our way. It just felt just a little bit too safe for me. I think we were just, you know, that one pass away from doing the right thing, and, and I just don't think we did it today. And fair play to Sheffield United. They've come and they've they've done what they needed to do didn't they they've, they've got a point they look like they could have won it Archie I mean it was just written at one point weren't it but um, yeah just frustrated you know but I think you know I'm not too I'm disappointed but I'm not like overly like fuming or disappointed because I just think you know as much as we controlled the game we just we just didn't do enough to win and, and you know I, I don't know I don't know was it was it should have been a goal I don't know but um yeah, just uh, don't know what to say really, just just disappointed, but we'll see what everyone else has got to say up the villa. Number one, fan cameras are back. How are we? Good, thank Good. you. Excited for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't get the Premier League for Christmas, could we? But we're still second, so how did you make of the game today? Um well first off I was happy but then the decisions came in and it was a bit rough like the like the VAR decisions for like the goal for example there yeah. was never even a touch of Jacob Ramsey doing the foul yeah. I don't think he was even in the play of it um yeah so I wasn't really sure about that and um yeah so did you have some limbs when Zaniolo scored <laughs> yeah yeah I got I got confused because I was like if they go to VAR now it's gonna be because oh he he edited it out of his hand <laughs> Yeah, frustrating, but have a good Christmas. Richard, the legend, is here. How Hello, are you? Mate, good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Man. For having With me. your guitar and everything? Yeah, I know. Just off, fresh off the fan stand and yeah, ready to chat. What do you make of it then? Frustrating, man. Like we, that first half, like the ref was annoying me a little bit. Like I feel like they, sh you know, there should have been a pen there. But we've just got to be more clinical in the, yeah. in the you know in the final third. A couple of McGinn passes were going awry, like. But it's a lesson in the learning for the boys. Like, if yeah. we want to be fighting at the top of the table, we need to win, be yeah. in the bottom of the table. Yeah. And it's 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 hard to do. It's a different mentality yeah. thing. So yeah, I fe it felt like we were, to me it felt like we were just lacking that something today, yeah, that yeah. that little gear. That I hate little... to say it. It's a Gerard phrase. That moment of magic. <laughs> yeah. But like, it's we just lacked. Yeah, that, you're right. Just that, just little, that little bit of, bit of bite. But yeah. I mean. <laughs> We're disappointed, but we've gone second in the league. Yeah, which is great. And like, great. okay, we, you know, look at the run and, and what we've been on. And, you know, even in December, you know, we've done really well yeah. with the games we've won. So I think maybe this might be one of them where we sit back, reflect yeah. and just... Yeah, I think we've just got to keep moving forward. Yeah. It's a positive. We're second yeah. at Christmas. Yeah. It's, it's mad. great. Yeah. It's really good. Could yeah. have been first, but yeah. it's good, man. We yeah. should be happy. Brilliant. Stay love positive. It. Up the villa. Big love. Up the villa, man. All the way from Ireland, then. What did we make of that today? Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. My brother was saying, like, when you're at top of the table, like, people just sit back and, like, you know, they just want to stop you from scoring. And, yeah. I like, mean, it was a frustrating game. Very frustrating. You know, we, yeah. we controlled the ball, etc. But we just didn't do enough, did we, today? No. Nope. Really so, didn't. Who do you think sort of was Villa's best player today? Zaniolo. Obviously. <laughs> Got the goal. Love yeah. it. Love it. Um, so, yeah, so frustrating, but I mean, we've still got to be positive that we that we got a point, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, we were hoping yeah. to go away uh, top of the table, but sure, anyway, listen, above Liverpool now either way. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Cool. Cheers, right. lads. Thank, Thank you. you. Justin! <laughs> Talk to me. D disappointing overall, isn't it? It is bitterly disappointing. It's hard to not look past being 39 points from that. Obviously, on the overall season, it's a phenomenal position yeah. to be in. But it does feel like a bit of a, a missed opportunity tonight, yeah. doesn't it? You know, we all expected to turn up tonight, and, and I expected to turn up and roll them over. Everything was pointing to the fact we were going to turn up and roll them over. 
and it just didn't happen. That's football, isn't it? These weird results happen every now and again, and I think that just shows how hard it is in the Premier League to, to be where we are. You know, we've beaten some phenomenal teams this season at Villa Park, and the one we were expected to win, we've, we've come away with a draw. I mean, fair play, we got a draw out of it. We could have easily lost that game tonight, especially, you know, conceding so late on. It's, as I say, it's very hard not to be to be disappointed, but I think we've got to look at it on the whole of the season, and we're in a phenomenal position. You know, we've got a difficult game at United on Boxing Day, but if we win that, we're still in a fantastic yeah. position, and we've got the rest of the season to look forward to. We've got a few players missing, a few injuries still, so a couple of additions in January, get a few of the players back fit, and we'll be absolutely fine. Just got to look positive. Up the villa. Up the villa. Happy Christmas. Talk to me. How are you feeling? Oh, lad, honestly, you know what's disappointing? It's the fact that it was a chance to go top yeah, of the yeah. table. Like, it was just one of them things where if we won and you hope for a draw in the next game, you'd be talking about Villa at like Christmas, yeah. top of the table, and all the punts would have come out for me yeah. and the family, like, because they're not Villa fans whatsoever. <laughs> but, like, I know it's funny. Like, I've seen all over Twitter, oh, Archer, it's going to be written in the stars for <laughs> Archer to score. And funny enough, what yeah. does he do? He goes and scores. And now, in fairness, Zaniolo, fair play, got yeah. there before the keeper, kept my unbeaten record and tactic <laughs> on. Like, but at the same time, though, I'm not fuming. Nah. But, like, at the same time, I'm disappointed not to go top of the yeah. league, which would have been yeah. great for the lads. Like, you know, what I felt at the same time, I think the lads probably coming into this thought, oh, this is an easy game, yeah. you know, bottom of the table. Like, But at the same time, like, it's always said, no easy game is in the Premier yeah, League whatsoever. Not. And I think, you know, you, you take the run out of it and, and we expect to win every time we play at Villa Park. But, you know, to come back, you know, when it looked like, I mean, to be fair, it looked like we were going to lose at that point. But, you know, Zaniolo pops up, great header, brave to get in there. Um, so, you know, that, that's a massive positive to, to come back and, and, and get a point made. It shows, you know, the, the, the resolve we've got in the squad. Absolutely. And it also shows the resilience, even though we went 1-0 down. If you were talking near two or three years ago if we went one nil down we'd probably concede another and that that would just be the nail in the coffin but uh, we showed great resilience to get the point and after all that I felt like the point is what we really deserve like just because 78% yeah, I, I, possession yeah we, we definitely didn't deserve to lose but at the same time I, 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 I don't think we deserve to win no absolutely not like because I was watching the whole game and I was kind of like from minute one I was like don't get me wrong from the back to midfield great we're keeping control of the ball but yeah. like it was that final third we were lacking that little bit of quality, that little bit of like clinical finishing, which that rootlessness in the yeah. final third, which we were lacking. And and then the first goal when Bailey scored, and then I was seeing the the, the short little replay where he showed yeah. the screen. I don't know what Ramsey did. He literally just yeah. stood there, and you know what? You can't did he touch the keeper? It, no, not I, even like no. it, it, literally from the screen that I seen. Like he was literally yeah. next to the, the defender, yes. and the keeper like yeah. had an awkward fall. Like, but look, it is what it is. But Unfortunately, it's just one of them things. If it's yeah. not written in the stars for you to be top yeah. of the table, it's not there. <laughs> yeah. Cool, mate. Up the villa. Frustrating. Ah! I thought we were all going to come bouncing out here tonight. <laughs> you know, but yeah. It wasn't meant to be, was it? No. I think... We knew that run had got to come to an end, didn't we, at some point. But I don't think anybody expected it to be tonight. And, yeah. How the ending was, a bit of a smash and grab. And I thought, please, no. Yeah. But, yeah, I think... For the team to never give up, yeah. keep going, and for, I'm really pleased for Zani Aulo to finally get that one at Villa Park in front of the Big goal. So hopefully now yeah. that pushes him on, and because he felt sometimes like he got like this monkey on his back, didn't yeah. it, that he struggled to let go of. But hopefully that's behind him now, you know, and he can relax a bit. And yeah, it's oh. difficult to summarise yeah. it really because I mean it's, it's hard because like you, you, you've you bossed the ball you, you, you've dominated the game did we have we like did, 90% yeah. possession or something we just didn't create enough did no. we and, and it just there was just oh. something lacking today you wanted to see their goal being peppered didn't yeah. you do you know what I mean shots off really everybody from everywhere but it, yeah. it just never happened did it towards no. the end you know in the final third there yeah. that, just not enough was there and I was a little bit disappointed with Ramsey because I thought he was going to come in front of the old yeah. tent and you know we love him don't we yeah. and I, I just wanted him to sort of be a hero and yeah but that kind of didn't happen either for him and yeah I was pleased with him again yeah. again you know and I thought he did well in midfield because obviously took a little bit of a change and yeah 
just one of them, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what can you say? Yeah. What can you Gotta say? Gotta just keep going. Just Merry Christmas. I mean, to we're disappointed, but we've just gone second in the league, so <laughs> there we go. I was trying to say to my son, you know, hang on, we're nearly at Christmas. Yeah. There's a long oh, yeah. season to go, yeah, you know, yeah. there's plenty more points. Yeah. Let's not be too down. Cool, so, right, have a good one. Merry Christmas. Cool.